It's that time of the year again. We get to blow stuff up for fun, eat hot dogs until our arteries clog up. We get to do domestic terrorism, we can fire off guns, the usual stuff, you know? Sometimes, though, people need to express their independence in other ways, like launching anvils 10 stories into the air. My name is Gay Wilkinson, here in Farmington, Missouri, at Ingler Park. For women, you know. Um, uh, uh. Yay! <laughs> Which, that's just awesome. We should replace fireworks with that. Every July 4th, at least one person dies from fireworks or bullets falling into the air. So, fuck it. We should just launch anvils instead. To be honest with you, I was going to talk about other stuff in this video, but they all paled in comparison to launching anvils with explosives. I mean, it also has historical presence. It's not a new thing. They would fire an anvil for Queen Victoria's birthday, and the firing was also used as a test. Ugh. Ugh. It was also used as a testing method for anvils. If they shattered in the process, then they were deemed unsafe. Which, yeah, uh, I guess a shattered anvil is unsafe, huh? Speaking of unsafe, I actually found the record of a funeral service for someone who died to a falling anvil. <clears throat> funeral services for John W. Van Dusen, who died from injuries received in an anvil dropped on his head. And that's all I have. I wish I could tell you more, but it's locked behind a paywall, which is kind of messed up for all the families of those people, but whatever.